one of the most important things you can do for your online store is to help people find exactly what they're looking for. And with Equid, one of the ways you can do this is with categories. A clear and concise category structure makes your store's navigation intuitive. It allows your customers to easily find what they're looking for. I'm here under Store Management, Catalog, and Categories. Now, Equid always has a storefront page category. When I'm on my store, anything I place in the storefront page category will obviously show up here on the front page. So let me set up a couple of categories. I'm going to add a root. I'm going to give it a name. And because my store sells clothing, I'm going to start with men's and women's clothing. So men's clothing. I can add an image that accurately describes this category. And I can add a description from shirts to scarves, formal to casual menswear. And depending on what might be appropriate for the description, you can even add images and video in this field. Click Save. Once I have a root category, I can create subcategories. I'll select the root category and click Add Subcategory. So I can have a subcategory called Scarves. I can upload another scarf image and add a description. Click Save. Now I'll click Men's Clothing again and click Add Subcategory to add another one. So in this case, shirts, a nice shirt image, and casual shirts for all occasions. Click Save. It's important to remember that when you want to create subcategories, that you first select the category above it, or in this case, the root category. Now, of course, I can create subcategories of subcategories if I had formal shirts, casual shirts, and more. The better your category structure, the easier it is for your customers to find what they're looking for. Of course, I can rearrange categories just by clicking and dragging. I can also delete a category if I want. All right, I can add another root category here, women's clothing. Click Save. Well, you probably get the idea. All right, so now I have men's clothing with two subcategories and women's clothing, and of course, I can continue on. Once I have my categories set up, I can now add products to those categories. And we can do this in one of two ways. The first way is right here inside of the category. Click on Category Products and click Assign Products to Category. Here, I can select any product I want. If I just want to select one product, I can just click the plus symbol, or I can choose to go down and select multiple products and click Add Products. Now, this is the men's clothing category. Click on Shirts, and once again, click Assign to Category, and now I just choose my shirts and click Add Products. And continue down. If I click on Women's Clothing and click Assign Products to Category, I can select all the women's clothing I have. Women's scarf, women's shirt, of course, designer t-shirts are men and women, and I'm good to go. Click Add Products, and I can even drag and drop the products in the category to reorder them. The other way to manage categories for your products is at the product level itself. If I click on a category and I click Create New Product, the category is already selected for me, and I can even feature it on the front page. If I'm already editing a product, well, it's at the same place. Scroll down, and I can manage the categories for the product right here. If I need to edit a category, it's as simple as clicking on it, clicking on the General tab, and updating the information as needed. And now here in my store, automatically I have a men's clothing category and a women's clothing category. If I click on one, well then here is the title, the breadcrumbs, and the description I used. When a root category has products assigned to it, in addition to having subcategories, the subcategories will appear first, and then the products assigned to the root category will appear after this. You'll note across the top, my breadcrumbs expand based on the category that I've clicked on. And I can even update how the categories appear on my page by editing my instant site, clicking on store, and changing how the product list and categories appear. I can have the text over the image, under the image, on hover, and text instead of the image. 
I'm going to click Save. Now on my store homepage, I have men's clothing, women's clothing, and it takes me right to my categories. And so creating your category structure and assigning products to those categories so that your store is easy to navigate is really simple in Equid.